The Battle of Dora Stolin was fought in 971 between the Byzantine Empire and forces of Kiev and Rus. The Byzantines, led by John I's emissaries, were victorious. Background During the course of the Rus-Bulgarian War, Sviatoslav I of Kiev overran the eastern part of the First Bulgarian Empire and established his capital at Pereyaslavitz on the Danube. Once John I usurped the throne, the Byzantines launched a counter-offensive. After they defeated the united Rus-Bulgarian forces in the Battle of Arkadiopolis and recaptured Pereyaslavitz, Sviatoslav was forced to flee to the northern fortress of Doris Stolin. Siege Emperor John proceeded to lay siege to Doris Stolin, which lasted for 65 days. His army was reinforced by a fleet of 300 ships equipped with Greek fire. There were several engagements before the walls of the city, which demonstrated to the Byzantines that the Rus lacked skill in cavalry warfare. Among the casualties were the emperor's relative Joannis Korkoar and the second-in-command in, in Sviatoslav's army, a certain Ikmor. The Rus and their Bulgarian allies were reduced to extremities by famine. In order to appease their gods, they drowned chickens in the Danube, but the sacrifices failed to improve their position. As their hardships became intense, 2,000 Rus warriors sallied out at night, defeated a Byzantine force and went in search of supplies to the Danube. They later rejoined the besieged. The Rus felt they could not break the siege and agreed to sign a peace treaty with the Byzantine Empire, whereby they renounced their interests towards the Bulgarian lands and the city of Chersonesos in Crimea. Sviatoslav bitterly remarked that all his allies betrayed him during this decisive moment. He was allowed to evacuate his army to Berezin Island while the Byzantines entered Dora Stolin and renamed it Theodoropolis. After the reigning Empress Theodora, 